Today I'm showing you how Jeffrey Morgenthaler makes his bourbon renewal. It's over 20 years old this drink, bit of a modern classic. And if you look at the ingredients, you can see it's very similar to a whiskey sour. It's just got the addition of cassis. So cassis being a black currant liqueur. It's sweet, but it's got this uh, acidity and it's quite tart. I've done this on the channel a long time ago. I only had 8,000 views. So that's why I'm redoing it. Because it's a good cocktail uh, and deserves more love. I thought I'd run through a little bit of detail about the uh, particular ingredients that Jeffrey himself likes to use. So this one is the more recent one that he's done on his YouTube channel. Uh, I, I did a side-by-side -side comparison of that particular one and the one that's on his website. And um, my wife and I both prefer this particular recipe, different to the recipes that Leandro and Anders have tried on the channel. So if you would like to, I recommend giving this one a crack and then let me know which one you prefer. Jeffrey likes to use, or he did use in the video, uh, bullet bourbon. So I, A, don't have bullet bourbon, uh, and B, I actually don't have many bourbons on hand at the moment, but this particular one here is closest in regards to mash bill, meaning the type of grains and the percentage of grains that are used in making the bourbon. So as far as flavor profile goes, it should be somewhat similar. Uh, a little bit higher ABV, this one's 50% as opposed to bullet, which is 45. A little bit more punch in it, which giving it the fact that it's a sweeter the style whiskey sour, I think that's that's works really well. Uh, then I've got Marie Brazard, so as I said, black currant liqueur, French black currant liqueur, some fresh lemon juice. I'm using a two to one, so rich syrup, and then Angostura bitters, and my new little Japanese style dasha bottle. These don't know why I haven't started using these a long, long time ago. Big shout out to today's video sponsor, Visky. Today I'm using the Meridian Old Fashioned Glass. This is the one that really jumped out at me. I think this looks great for A, the bourbon renewal that I'm about to make. Um, Negroni's, uh, nice nice vertical lines, little gold rim to the, the top of the glass. We've also got Tiki, double Old Fashioned Glasses, of course, useful for tropical cocktails, Tiki drinks, etc. Martini glasses, old school. I don't use a lot of martini glasses on the channel, but uh, I'm gonna have to start using them from now on. Uh, and martinis, of course, that's the drink of choice to use in a martini glass. And they've got these low ball and high ball glasses. This is uh, the bow style. They've got heaps of unique glassware on their website and you can use the coupon code STB15 for 15% off. Plenty of options there. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below so you can go check out the website. Here's a new style of Nicandora glass that I absolutely love. You'll definitely be seeing this particular glass on the channel quite a lot. Nicanoras, great for Manhattans and any drinks that are served up, I'll be using these a lot. So as I said, make sure you check out the website and use the coupon code STB15 or 15% off. Let's get started on the drink. The only difference with the recipe that I'm doing today and the other one that's on his website is everything is scaled up proportionally in the other recipe except for the cassis. So the reason I like this one is the cassis is fairly prominent. So that's why I'm doing this one. Uh, and as I said, Kat, my wife, really enjoyed this too. So we're measuring out 1.5 ounces, 45 mil of your preferred bourbon, followed by cassis. And in the description below, I'll leave both recipes so you can do a comparison uh, side by side and make up your own mind. Uh, 15 mil, half an ounce. I'm actually doing a scant measure, so a little bit short there. Um, I just want to drop the sweetness back a tiny bit. And then three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil of fresh lemon juice. Half an ounce, 15 mil of two to one syrup. So a rich syrup. And of course, if you don't want to drop down the Marie Bazaar or the um, cassis, you can always lower the, the sugar. It's completely up to you. Uh, one dash of Angostura bitters. This is a Japanese style uh, dasher. Uh, the dashes are quite small. They're roughly one third of a dash that you would normally get from an Angostura bottle. So one, two, three. Plenty of ice and shake. So roughly 10 to 12 seconds for your shake, and then you want to double strain over fresh ice into your old fashioned glass. So I'm copying Morgan Thaler's recipe that he's done on his video. He didn't garnish it, but of course, if you'd like to garnish uh, a lemon wheel or black currants if they're in season. I don't even know if you can get black currants here in Australia. Or you, you could, but I don't know where. Um, not where I'm from. So there you have Jeffrey Morgan Thaler's bourbon renewal. 
uh, essentially a black currant whiskey sour. And then, I'm digging this whiskey glass. Cheers. Whoa, tart, citrusy. Um, you get that that like sweet black currant note coming through. They are quite tart, but I I do like the fact that I've done a scant measurement of the creme de cassis. Uh, not so much to drop that flavor down, but more so just drop the sweetness uh, from compared to the uh, trials that I did beforehand before making the video. Uh, it did come across as just a little bit sweet. Uh, this is a little bit more balanced. And of course that also depends on the type of cassis that you use. Uh, this only sits in at 16%. It's a creme de cassis, so I think off the top of my head, like 400 grams of sugar per litre or more. Don't know exactly, but it is a sweet liqueur. This is a great drink.